guys, this is Barry, and I wanted to show you today how I make a repeat in Photoshop. I like to do it by hand, and um, sometimes it can get a little complicated if you um, want to overlap. So I wanted to show you exactly how I do this. I'm going to get rid of this timeline here. That's for animation. I am showing my layers window, which you can get. I'm going to get rid of the swatches. Don't need those for right now. Um, so you have your layers panel, which you can get in your window tab. This, mo I have a created mo a motif. You could see it's a copy of a couple motifs that I've put together, or, uh, the same motif that I've put together in a couple different ways. And I put it together so that it creates a seven inch square. I want it to be even. Um, I don't want to go, you know, with, you know, an eighth of an inch somewhere or something like that. It'll just make it harder for me to manipulate the repeat. So I'm going to just not apply that transformation. I also have on show all. So I've got my grid, I've got the sides of the motif showing, and when it snaps, I make sure I have snap on as well, right here. And so when it snaps in place, I see the little pink lines. So what I want to do to start is, so this is seven inches. So when we create the repeat, we're going to start with a 14 inch square. So we're doubling whatever the motif size is. I want to get this in the center here because so, I'm going to reduce the size of this canvas. Oop, that's image size. Image, canvas size. And I'm going to make it 14. And it wants to know if it's okay to clip. And I said yes because I've gotten that out of the way. Now I'm going to put this back in the top left corner, make sure it snaps into place and it's nice and even. We've got it only on the seven inch line. Sometimes I'll crop an image down to make sure that I've got the right size and then I'll do image, image size. And if it's like seven and an eighth, if it's like seven and an eighth, I'll reduce it back to seven so that it's nice and even. Okay, so now what I want to do is I can I want to duplicate this layer, and I usually use Command J to do that. And I've done that. You can also do Layer, Duplicate Layer, and do it that way. So I've done Command J, and I'm going to move this over here. And I don't want just two in a row like that, so I'm going to rotate this image. Just to keep it simple, I'm going to put it underneath instead so you can see what a half drop repeat looks like. Okay, so I'd like to rotate this image. So I'm just going to flip it horizontally since I've got it, got it underneath. So I go transform, flip horizontal. Now there's a lot of space in here and normally I would scoot this up and overlap it. But I'm first going to show you the very simple half drop repeat. So I'm going to leave the space there. Okay, so now I'm going to duplicate this layer. And this is the one that's been modified, it's been um, rotated. And I'm going to center it between the two. And you can see it snapped into the center. The pink line came up. So we've got this centered between the two show the centering and then I'm going to take the very first layer so I went back to my layers and I picked my very first layer you could name these if you want by double clicking I didn't do that here but so you can name them so you better know what you are looking at and I'm going to duplicate this layer and I'm going to move it just above the first one it's not overlapped at all with anything and it touches the layer beneath it and I'm going to duplicate it again and put it underneath. So there you have a simple half drop repeat with no overlapping of the layers. So you're going to see that this is, you're going to get some of these gap in, this gapping in here. Now if I want to test to make sure I've done this right, I do edit, define pattern. 
okay and then I'm gonna hit a new document and let's see this is 14 by 14 let's do a 28 by 28 inch document just to see we've got it all right and I fit it on the screen so that we can see and then I'm gonna go to my paint bucket and I'm gonna go you could choose foreground or pattern and I'm picking pattern and here's my pattern you see I've got this all transparent still haven't chosen a background color yet and I put that in there and I'm going to do show none so that we can see that there's no monkey business going on here with any broken repeats so there's no layers that are broken up or there's no glitches in the repeat so you can see we've got a nice repeat here you fit on screen I'm going to add a new layer Command Shift N, Shift N will get you a new layer, or you could go to Layer New. And then I'm adding a color. I'm going to put this behind, and I'm going to add a color. Let's do the dark gray. That sounds good. Got to make sure I switch to foreground, and I'll dump that in with my paint bucket. It take a second because it's a big document, and there you can really see that it's tiled up nicely. However, like I said, you've got these holes and it looks very linear and, and it, does, it doesn't look like it's organic. So I'm going to put this aside for a moment and I'm gonna show you how I would overlap this. I'm gonna go back and start with just the first layer. So I'm deleting all the other layers. So I've still got my 14 inch canvas and my seven inch motif. I'm gonna duplicate that, Command J and I'll bring it down here and I'm going to flip it horizontally and then I'm going to overlap it to my liking and I want to do it in either halves or halves or whole inches it just makes it easier to figure it out later and so I've got I've gone over two inches here so there we've got two inches now I'm going to copy this I'm going to bring it over here to the edge. I don't know why we're not getting the snap look, but it's snapping into the... Oh, no, it snaps on. Okay, so we want it to be halfway in between these two. I've got two inches up here, and I've got three inches down here, so to the end of this motif. One, two, three, and one, two, so I need to go down half an inch. It snaps into place. I think I'll move this over an inch to overlap into here. Okay, so now I've got my overlap set, so I'm remembering I'm going two up and one in. Okay, so then I wanna take the first motif and copy that again, and it goes up here and it goes down here. It goes in the inch. I've hit the edge, so I want to make sure I go up two. That's one, and that's two. And um, to help you keep it in line vertically as you're rowing, you would press the shift key as you mouse up, as you edge it up with your mouse. See here. Oh, I'm gonna, I'm gonna go back and count because I've lost track of where I am. So I've got one inch and two inches. And then that same repeat goes up here, same motif goes up on top. So it's hitting there, so we're going to go down two, that's one, and that's two. But now you need to know that if you put it into repeat, you're missing, you've got an overlap, it's overlapped in here, so it has to overlap in here. So I'm gonna take the three layers that are on the right side of the page and I'm gonna move them over so they're overlapping on this one. Command J to duplicate it. Move it over so it's just two inches off the page. Two inches hanging onto the page, really. And then the bottom one, Command J. You could see I've got it lined up because the pink shows up. And then a middle one. 
is right. Where is the middle one? It's right here. And J, so I've got all three of them over there. Ah, actually they're one inch. So move them all, I gotta move all those over one inch. Find it. That's gotta be one inch, not two inches. I was thinking of the vertical one. The bottom one has to be one inch over. That would have ruined the repeat. So do you remember how much you're overlapping? Don't make the mistake I just made. Okay, then here's the one that's underneath the original one, and we know that is overlapped by two inches, and I'm gonna duplicate it and bring it up so it's overlapped by two inches. Nope, that's an inch and three quarters, and there's two inches. But now if I hit Edit to find Pattern, you're going to have all this blank space around the edges. So what we want to do is, since we went up two inches, that means we need to crop by four inches at the bottom. We went out one inch, that means we need to go in by two inches on the right. So you've doubled whatever it is that you've overlapped by, that's what you crop by. So I'm gonna put my crop tool on. Like I said, we did two inches on the bottom, so I wanna go four inches up, one, two, three, four, and we did one inch on the right, so we're gonna go two inches in. And I'm gonna go back to that, and I'm gonna crop. And now I should be able to define the pattern, and then test it. I'm gonna get rid of this layer, create a new layer. And I'm gonna to go to pattern, make sure I've got that. I've got my paint bucket, chose the right pattern that I just created and dump it in and then check to see if I've done it right. And you can see here, there's no funny spaces and there's no broken motifs. So I've done the whole pattern correctly. And that is how you make a half drop repeat with an overlap.